Hey friends and welcome to Romy Taste Videos. Today we are making what some people might call polveronis, what others might call Mexican wedding cookies, and what might be called something completely different in another land because these seem to have a lot of origins. Ultimately, they are melt-in-your-mouth buttery cookies that come together really quickly and are really addictive to eat. I'd love to know if you give them a go, so add a comment below, tag me on Instagram, Romy Taste, and subscribe for more videos like this. We'll want our butter to be softened to the point that it leaves a slight impression when we press it with a fingertip, and we will want to preheat our oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll want to place that butter, which you see is softened to the point that it doesn't just like fall off the plate. Vanilla extract, which helps flavor our cookies alongside the walnuts and our sugar into a bowl. And if we're making this with a hand or a stand mixer, we'll want to beat on medium until our butter has lost some of its color. So it's pale and fluffy. So we're looking for the color to change in our butter, but also that the mixture is really, really combined. This helps give our cookies a really nice, solid foundation. Usually, cookies need this part of the process to be really well done because that aeration through the butter, mixing that sugar through the butter means that it starts to dissolve and they effectively begin to become one ingredient that you then add everything else into. We have a slight technical glitch, but we want to add in our flour, our salt if we're using unsalted butter, um, and our very, very finely chopped walnuts. I think the longest part of the process is, if you do not have a uh, food processor, is chopping those walnuts. Or if you prefer, you can substitute with finely chopped almonds. And we want to mix this on the absolute lowest setting. I did this in real time, this is not sped up, until there are no dry parts in the bottom of our bowl and you see there that the mixture really clumps together, but do not stress, this is exactly how you want it to look and if yours looks like mine, you're doing a fantastic job friends. We'll want to place our dough in the fridge for 5 minutes just to chill ever so slightly because we will be now making our cookies. And we'll be rolling them with our hands and we don't want to heat that dough too much up and start to like melt that butter. So I had a cookie scoop that is just ever so slightly larger than a tablespoon. Mine is about 4 centimeters in diameter or 1.57 inches. If you don't have one, a tablespoon does a fine trick here. We want to take a portion of dough, roll it into a ball, and if there is a slight like line or mark and you press on your ball and you see that there's like a crack in it, do not stress, it's completely normal. Just place it onto your baking tray, baking will solve all of these issues. You see how quickly these cookies come together, friends, and honestly, you can be eating a polveroni within half an hour, half an hour of starting this dough. So we've made all of our uh, cookie dough balls and now we want to place them in the oven to bake for 10 minutes until just ever so lightly golden on the edges. We want them to be more pale than golden. And then we want to place them on a cooling tray to cool until they are warm to the touch. We still want them to have some warmth because when we coat them in this sugar, we want that sugar to really stick. The sugar sticking to our cookies is what creates our coating. Now you see here, I found the process of actually placing a cookie into the sugar, coating it, and then I actually ended up re-coating it twice more to get a really nice thick coating. And that is what helps give these cookies our melt and our mouth texture. So we definitely want to make sure they're warm whilst we do that so that everyone can experience this. I really truly hope you enjoy these friends. They are fantastic and I hope yours look exactly like mine. You've done a fantastic job. Enjoy.